Well, here we are in the middle of India on a beautiful, bright, sunny day. Yet we're waiting for one of the most awe-inspiring phenomena that the whole natural world can show. A total eclipse of the sun. A splendid example of a mystery of the first kind. In a few minutes, this brightly lit landscape will become perfectly dark. But of course, this still terrifies many people, and indeed, even to a modern civilized man, it's quite an awe-inspiring experience. We know that the sun is 400 times bigger than the moon, but also 400 times further away. So by this very strange coincidence, the moon can almost exactly cover the sun at certain times of its orbit around the Earth, and that gives us a total eclipse. So this is a mystery which has been solved, yet at the same time, there are a good many scientific mysteries about the sun which have not been solved, which is why astronomers, as you see here, travel all around the world so they can observe this wonderful phenomenon, which is a great scientific interest. No, it's um, aluminium foil. Aluminium foil. Already the light on this landscape, which was so brilliantly illuminated half an hour ago by the full tropical sun, is fading to a sort of gray... Did you hear that? The cock crowing. The, the, already the animals know that something strange is happening. In fact, the level of light here at the moment is something like that of Mars on a, uh, on a fairly bright day. And it, although it's quite cold now. I can feel when the wind blows. I feel as though I'm back in England. Less than a minute to go now, it's like a door closing with a great light behind it, a curved door hanging up there in space. The moon has almost completely covered the sun. The last light is beginning to go. Just a tiny, narrow thread of light, that's all. I hear screams around me, people are scared of what's happening. As the landscape around us fades out. Only the very narrowest thread now. Just a few seconds left. It's going, going. Eye patches off. There is the corona, the most glorious sight. A great crown of light, the solar corona. There are streamers of light stretching out around it and very bright bursts of flame near the edge itself. It's still quite bright. We can see the landscape around us. This way. As though it's probably a bright moonlight night as far as the illumination is concerned. Because the light from the corona is so intense, I can't see any other stars except Venus and, and little Mercury. Of course, the longer one looks, the more detail one sees. You can tell that there are enormous magnetic forces at play there because of the way these streamers follow lines like lines of filing around a magnet. Now, you can just see the sun coming, it's, it's all ended, a burst of light, the diamond ring, so-called, just a single spot of light, as the sun shines through one of the lunar valleys. It does it like a diamond ring in the sky, and now it's all over. That wonderful eclipse is what I call a mystery of the first kind. It was a mystery to our ancestors, but not to us. We know exactly how it was caused. Yet, tragically, Millions of Indians failed to see it because they were terrified and stayed indoors and so missed the spectacle of a lifetime. We can enjoy an eclipse without fear, yet not without awe.